Hi, thank you for checking out my OCMS distant at home, whatever exactly it's called, uh, music recital. When I was asked to put together a few pieces for this, I started thinking about um, uh, interesting problems for percussionists during a pandemic. Probably the biggest problem that I had was the instruments that I had at home versus where I might go to a studio to practice or perform on. And so I programmed pieces around things that I actually had at my house. So one of the things that I do a lot is electronic percussion using MIDI controllers. So I knew I wanted to, to do that. The first piece that I programmed is called Orgel by Takayoshi Yoshioka. And Orgel uh, translates into meaning a music box. And it was written in two versions, one for glockenspiel and piano, and then the version that we're performing here for glockenspiel and vibraphone. My original plan was to use this thing called a uh, mallet station, which you'll see me play the glockenspiel parts on, um, to perform every part. But of course, there are always technical difficulties, and after a lot of time trying to make it work, I had this great idea, and I called up uh, my two performing partners, Kyle and Alex, who play in a group that we formed called Atlas Percussion, and uh, I asked them to play the other parts with me from their homes. So we made a click track, uh, they played their parts, we layered them, I played my part, and um, we hope that you enjoy the result.
Hello again. Uh, the second piece to perform today was one that um, I had the fortune of seeing now about, it was just a year ago, uh, I was playing with the two people you saw before, Kyle and Alex, uh, doing Atlas Percussion Gig in Southern Oregon at um, what they call the Fringe Festival there. And we saw a performance done by the actual composer, Patrick Duvall. And we immediately were really, um, it was just one of those pieces that we, we all saw it and we were like, man, we really want to play it. Um, we actually start, we're starting at that time a publishing company, and it was one of the first pieces that we really, really wanted to try to get. Um, and so I happened to be able to borrow a set of Crotales. I owned the Kalimba, and I had a tympano to perform on, so I thought, what better time um, to do this piece? Uh, this piece is called Call of the Reef God by Patrick Duvall, and you'll hear a lot of different sort of oceanic sounds and water and um, pitch bends and lots of different effects. The piece itself is put into sort of verses and choruses. Um, not exactly how he explains it, but it it's, makes it a little easier to understand. And there's some structure and some improvisation. So I hope you enjoy Call of the Reef God.
The last piece that I have today is actually from one of my favorite all-time pop artists, Bjork. Um, and when I was trying to think of collaborations or what I could do with electronics, um, I knew that I wanted to maybe do this piece and I knew it was a chance uh, to work with Alma, who I got to know as a student at UNO and perform this piece with, gosh, I think when we did it the first time, it was four years ago, and then we um, did it two years ago as well. Um, so we tried to plan a way we could get together so that I could actually perform. There's a lot of sort of rubato in the piece, um, and she could sing and we could actually see each other and make it work. Uh, and so the solution we had was to find a place outside that was sort of quiet. Um, I grew up in Bellevue and I had close family friends that lived uh, outside of Plattsmouth and they have a big piece of land and their house is actually a historical house. It was a, um, originally a one, one room schoolhouse. Uh, it's really, really beautiful out there. Um, and so they agreed to let us uh, and, uh, <laughs> look a little crazy and essentially shoot uh, in their front yard. So uh, we went out there and we, we did the recording so that we could be, I think we were like eight or nine feet away from each other. We had a nice distance. Um, I came back and of course I used technology on my end, had a bunch of technical issues with the recording. And so I actually had to go back, this is the best part about technology, and fix uh, a lot of little things. And I contemplated making another video because some of my video wouldn't actually then work out or look quite right. I didn't want to scrap the singing because the singing was, were great takes. Um, and so instead, I sort of started thinking about um, how I hadn't been out to that house in, I think, it, I think we figured out it was right around 2000, 2001, so almost 19 years. And I just, while I was out there, I just had a lot of sort of memories flood in. And I forget when I was in high school, uh, you don't really realize how beautiful things are or how nice things are. So what I did is I went back out and I shot a bunch of footage, uh, just little spots that I liked and um, used some footage of the area and around their house and on their land uh, as a way to kind of help um, hopefully set the mood. The song itself is about being near the ocean. We don't have an ocean, but I thought about some of the beautiful landscape that we have um, nearby and tried to shoot it as best I could. Thank you again for watching all these videos. It's been a, it was a great time. And thanks to all the uh, OCMS staff and Danny and everybody who um, is working really hard to give opportunities to people like me and musicians to uh, uh, be able to perform for you in these very strange times. Thanks.
Oh.